I am having a hell of a time talking because my husband is sitting in the living room listening to me. <laughs> okay, I'm in kind of a mood today. <laughs> I apologize in advance. I'm gonna try to stay, I'm gonna try to stay on track. All right, that's it for me today. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing another edition of Spoonie Certified, which is a review series that I'm doing where I check out products to see if they, number one, actually work the way they're supposed to, and number two, to make sure that they don't actually bother my incredibly sensitive skin, given that I have a chronic illness and I tend to be sensitive to a lot of chemicals, many chemicals, most chemicals, life, really. I seem to be, seem to be sensitive to life, but given that my immune system is, as my very dear friend likes to say, kind of a dick and is trying to eat me alive, I shouldn't be so surprised that I'm sensitive to life. <laughs> if you have not already done so, I would love it if you would take a second, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, do all the things. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, put a comment in the comment box, all the wonderful things. This would really, really help me out. I have been trying to get my channel up to 100 so that I can customize my link. I would be very grateful if you would help me out with that. If you've already done so, thank you in advance. I love you. While we're on that, you can check out my socials, all of which are linked in the description box down below. I've really been enjoying a lot of the conversations that we've been having on Twitter and hearing your stories about your experiences with ableism and having a chronic illness. I've been very honored that so many of you have chosen to share your stories with me, and I am working on, it's going to be a couple of videos actually, where I share a lot of those stories. I haven't quite figured out what I'm going to call that series yet. I'm actually open to suggestions. So if you have a suggestion for that, drop in the comment box down below. All right, let's get started with today's video now that the like housekeeping stuff is out of the way. Today's product that we're going to be reviewing is the No Filter Concealer by ColourPop. I have been wanting to try this concealer out for quite a while. In fact, I went on a shopping trip to Ulta last week and I had it in my basket and then I didn't buy it. And it was the same thing. I did a huge purchase from ColourPop at the start of July. And again, I had it in my cart and I didn't buy it. I was doing the thing where I was like, I already have two concealers, both the Makeup Revolution and the Sem that I wear. I don't really need a third. Um, and like I said, it's been a rough couple of weeks given everything that's been happening um, with my family and my personal life. My husband is doing okay, but it's kind of a, it's up and down and I get it and I'm patient with it and I love him, right? I want him to be well. Um, and all of those wonderful lessons that I've learned from being chronically ill are coming in quite handy for helping him with his health situation that he has going on. A surprise package showed up yesterday out of nowhere with the concealer and also with the ColourPop Purple Mascara. And I had bought the Wet n Wild one just as a stopgap because I'd used up all of my purple ColourPop mascara. And then I was complaining about on video about how not good it is. Sorry, wet and wild, but that product is. And um, I'm going to leave the person anonymous because I don't think they would like it if I called them out on video. But thank you for being sweet. And they basically put a note in it and said, they were sorry, they were a couple states away, but they wanted to send some love, which was amazing. So now I've got, I've got some fun stuff to try out. Okay. And today we're really going to be putting ColourPop through the ringer because it is 87 degrees outside and it is 945 in the morning here in Indiana and we are under a heat advisory today it's supposed to feel like it's in the hundreds and we're at like 97% humidity outside and I actually have to leave the house so we're gonna see how this does 
I'm going to bring you guys in really close. I don't have anything on my face. Uh, I'm going to do everything. Moisturize, sunscreen, um, foundation, and then concealer. I thought to give it like a real review for you guys, I would do all the steps. That way you can kind of see, we can see together, like what happens layering it up on all the steps. But I am going to bring you in kind of close so you can see how awful my under eyes look right now. And I did not do the depuffing caffeine under eye treatment trick that I talked about in one of my earlier videos because I thought if we're gonna test a concealer, we're gonna test a concealer when I'm looking rough, right? Okay, one second, I'm gonna bring the camera in and we'll get going. All right, so now that I have brought my camera in, pull myself in. Now that I've brought my camera in as close as I can, and you are probably uncomfortably close to my face, you can see I have the charming, like right, I mean, I always look, right, I always look like I have just been punched right here. So first step, of course, is always moisturize your face, even though I moisturized this morning after I washed my face and did my routine. And I know, I already said, it's like 90 degrees outside, right? And it seems ridiculous to have to moisturize again. But I have really noticed a difference in coverage. And things not settling down into wrinkles if I'm really moisturized. Another thing that you can do that I kind of talked about a little in the video with Chi, although we did not do it, was primers, which um, again, I'm gonna ask if you guys are interested in a video on primers, we can talk about the different types of primers. I can show some different types of primers. Sunscreen, this is the next one. I found out after I showed this in the video with Chi that Claris has changed up the formula. They no longer make the blue one, which makes me very sad because it's so nice and brightening. But never fear. I got online and did a bunch of research and looked, and there is another one. It's not blue, but it definitely does brighten up the skin. I will test it on this channel, but I do want to use up the sunscreen that I have first because it does have a limited shelf life, um, but eventually it's coming. Um, but it has very, very good reviews. Okay. Again, I'm using the, the Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream. I have been looking at foundations just sort of curiously to see if there's anything else I might want to test out on this channel. I'm kind of thinking the Pacifica foundation looks pretty good. Um, I had very good luck. I reviewed one of their other products. I will link the video up above. Um, and like I said in that video, I do feel like the brand has a pretty strong commitment to, um, ooh boy, I just got that like all over my eye, to, um, not putting chemicals. Wow, look at this, okay? Do you see this? I am a mess today. What the heck, Bianca? Wow. Oh, boy. Yes, I know how to put on makeup. I have been putting on makeup for almost 30 years. Holy <laughs> And yet, somehow I wound up with it all over my eye. That's okay, that's okay. We all have days, right? Anyway, I think I might want to test out the Pacifica foundation next. Um, you know, I sort of hesitate, like I go back and forth. I don't like having 40 of the same product, right? Because of the, the shelf life. And I do worry about products going bad given how sensitive my skin really is. The last thing I want is you know, for something to start growing in the product and then I put it on my face. Um, because even, you know, the best products can get microbes or whatever 
in them, that's not good. That's why you should always, always, always pay attention to the expiration dates. Um, take a look at when you buy it. One of the things that I really love about buying things online is that if you don't know when you bought it, you can literally go through your search history and find it. The other thing that I do is I will take, and I don't think I have any products like that on the table right now. I have like little price stickers. You can get them at like Target or the drugstore or whatever for like if you're going to have a yard sale. And I just write the date that I opened the product and slap it onto the back. And then I know. Foundation. Still can see my bags. So nice, right? All right. Now for the concealer. And I pulled the concealer out of the the box and I'm just gonna see if I can get this to like show up hold on one second here I'm gonna pull it in close and I'm gonna see if I can get my autofocus to work there we go all right I can't tell look at this on my monitor it looks like an air bubble but it, when I'm looking at it in real life, it looks like discoloration, like product separation. So I don't know. One sec. I guess we'll see when I open it up what happens. Um, here goes nothing. Oh yeah, that was an air bubble. Okay, panicked for nothing. This has a, a doe foot applicator. It's kind of a smaller doe foot applicator compared to, let me get this one out. This is the Makeup Revolution. Makeup Revolution. This is the, the ColourPop. But I kind of actually like the smaller doe foot better because I feel like um, it's soaking up less product. There is no smell to this either, which is a bonus over the Makeup Revolution because the Makeup Revolution has kind of an odd smell to it. And as you could probably see in the close-up, I wear shade Fair 02, which is as fair as you can get without being pure white. But that's... <laughs> I am very, very pale. Okay, here we go. Okay, interesting. So the doe foot's like a little flexible too. Like as I'm, I'm used to a much firmer, it's almost like a paddle shape. Hmm. Maybe I should have gotten on ColourPop's website and looked to see like what they, they have recommended instructions, but let's just try it out. So it is, it feels thicker on than the other stuff I've worn. Oh, wow. Okay. Definitely brightening. I might. I'm going to conceal the rest of my face and then I'm going to double check my under eyes and see how they're doing. Um, I am pretty much like the most extreme case possible. Sometimes I think I should loan myself out to cosmetics companies, although God knows what they put in their products, so that might be horrible for me, but. Like, if you can conceal all the bags of a person with chronic illness, you can conceal the bags of an ordinary human. I will say this. I'm noticing that it is drying quickly. So if you use this, definitely don't like I did 
what I, I don't remember, cheek indents, I think is what T and I decided we were going to call these, uh, chin and nose and forehead. I would not, like the next time I do this, I would do like cheeks blend, chin and nose blend, forehead blend, just because um, it's it does seem to be drying but like down very, very quickly. Um, that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just... Every formula is a little bit different. I talked about in my very first concealer video that one of the first concealers I ever wore, if like I had to do one eye at a time because it would, <laughs> the dots would dry and then I would be stuck with the look, right? As Chi and I call it, the look. All right, I'm gonna put just a tiny bit more under my eyes here. I'm gonna come in. I will say there must be some kind of like light reflecting particles in this because even though my under eyes, I can still see, I can still see them as I'm moving, they look brighter when I'm still, when I'm just looking at my face, like, like straight on and there's no light hitting it. I can still kind of see a little bit of the bags, but when I move, they they definitely look brighter. So let's just take a tiny bit. And I don't know, I might not have used enough product, like that the applicator is different. And I always feel like there's a bit of a learning curve whenever you switch out products. be gentle with this one eye because my allergies have really been bothering me and oh yeah product right there okay. oh yeah good wow looking in my big mirror Okay, I really need to do like a collagen mask in the corners of my eyes because, wow. Don't get old people and don't get chronically ill. <laughs> right, like it's a choice. That was incredibly ableist of me. That was me being sarcastic and I, I do apologize. I'm probably gonna have to edit that out because wow, that was ableist sounding. I didn't mean it that way. Okay, here we go. Finished product. So I'm gonna do a full face of makeup today. I'm not putting it on the video. I am going to do check-ins throughout the day. So you will be seeing me wearing a full face of makeup. And then we'll come back at the end of the day, see how it did. Um, and we'll give a final verdict. But so far, not feeling any eye irritation. No tightness or tingling on the skin. It's like normally those are the telltale signs that I'm gonna have problems is I put a product on and either my eyes start to itch right away or my skin starts to feel tight where the product is. Um, sometimes, like I said in my setting spray video, it does take a couple of hours. All right, so this is the look from a distance. I should probably, I'm gonna try to cut in like a before concealer, after concealer, side by side shot for you guys so that you can see the, the difference and kind of judge for yourself. I'm gonna be wearing this all day in this hundred and some degree uh, heat indexed weather. We're gonna see how it does. I will check in periodically throughout the day and let you know how we're doing. It is nine, Oh no, it is 10, 10, my apologies, in the morning. And um, I'm gonna try to give this close to a 12 hour wear. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, I'll be back, bye guys. Hey guys, it's 1.52 in the afternoon and it is 95 degrees outside with a heat index of 102. I meant to check in earlier, but I had car problems because Mercury is in retrograde. I had to go get a tire repaired, so 
how I spent my morning. Um, I did not put on setting spray today. I wanted to wear this concealer without setting spray just to kind of see. It's holding up really well, especially considering that, like an idiot, I decided to park and walk. So I'm meeting my friend Chi, and I thought, let me get my steps in because I'm not flaring today. And how often does that happen? But it's hot and I'm sweaty. We're holding up okay though. Sorry, it's really loud. I should have done this in the car. Oh well. I will check in again in a bit. Hey guys, this is check-in number two. It is five o'clock. Um, I finished doing my errands and I was out quite a bit in the heat. Um, like I said earlier, no setting spray. So we were holding really well. I have to say, uh, it's not settled into any of my fine lines or wrinkles around my face, which is really good. I mean, I can still see a little bit of the purple. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. It might be psychosomatic. I feel like I always see bags under my eyes. Um, but it's holding up very, very well, especially given that the heat index is now up to 103. And I was in and out of the car, so that made me happy. All right, I'll do another check-in again before I take it off and see how we do. Bye. Okay, we're back. It has been um, a little under 12 hours. It's not quite 9.30, but it has been a long and incredibly hot day today and I'm ready to wash my face, so we're checking in now. As I said in my earlier video, I did not use any setting spray today. I really wanted to put this through its paces and see how it held up, especially knowing that we were going to have such hot weather. And I'm gonna bring the camera in one second. All right, so close up view, you can see uh, no cracking, no settling into my fine lines. Um, Coverage is still really good. I took the dog out a bunch, and then like I said earlier, I was out running errands. I think it's held up really well. Really, everything has held up well today, considering the heat. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty impressed. Okay, one second, let me pull the camera back out. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and say that the ColourPop No Filter Concealer is definitely Spoonie approved. It lasted all day through the heat. It was brightening, and it did not settle into any of my fine lines or wrinkles, which is phenomenal. So yeah. Very nice, especially for, I will look up the price for this, but I want to say this was six bucks, which makes it cheaper than the Makeup Revolution, and I believe you get more as well, which is nice. Uh, all right, so that's it. Any comments or questions, I put them in the box down below. I am here every Monday and Thursday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Hit the subscribe button, ring the bell if you want to be notified when I upload new videos, and I will see you guys next time. In the meantime, I hope you are happy, healthy, and well, and remembering that self-care is the most important care. Bye, guys.